Every single one of you all and bountiful, bountiful blessings to you all. Bountiful blessings to you all, man. Because out here in nature, you know, another day above ground, another day alive in life, another day at it, y'all. Another day at it. It's been a long time. It's been too long, actually, yeah. Definitely, it's been a long time. I should not have left you all, but we had so much growth and development man and still have so much growth and development to do you know but i figured where we were going and where we're at right about now as far as everything going on in life and everything the happenings and everything and seeing um you know the vibration of the planet man where everything is at and what's really going on a lot of things have been going out of control a lot of things have been going off man spinning out of wire it's seeing all that, you know what I mean? And I've been doing a lot of posts, you know, a lot of my posts have been scriptures and stuff like that, trying to motivate and try to keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep hope alive, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep the spirits growing, keep the spirits going, keep everybody moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Thinking positive, being able to see an end to this thing, you know what I mean? Even if it is, you know, after this experience, you know what I'm saying, that we call life or the moment of the now, this here and now, it's uh, the push is always forward, man. The push is always forward, upward momentum, man. Pursuit of love, pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of a life of fulfillment, a life of enjoyment, a life of meaning and a life of purpose. This is always the push. And right about now, it looks like we really need to push even more so in that positive direction, man. Even more so in that pursuit of purpose. And it's so easy, so easy to get caught up in the frustrations, to get caught up in the moment, to get caught up in the anger and the anxieties, and even lose ourselves in content to just maintain the current now, man. Or just not to even focus on the things that are, you know what I'm saying, plaguing us or, or pressuring us or pressing, them, pressing upon us. It's easy to lose ourselves in other things. But the most important thing is to dive into oneself, man dive into oneself especially in now especially into the now we have to investigate our hearts man and investigate our minds man while we have this time while we have this time man slow it down slowing it down and breathing realizing the moments man and the fragility of life and the fragility of people and emotions one's own emotions even one's own thought we often get angry over little things man or frustrated over things that could be easily just breathed past just take a deep breath and breathe man a wise man once said nothing Yahusha HaMashiach man Yahusha HaMashiach also known as Yahusha, <laughs> you know, Yahusha Hamashiach, Yeshua, the Christ, the Messiah. And uh, when he was at a moment, delivered up Pontius Pilate, delivered up by his own folks to be crucified. And they were saying all these vile things against him, a bunch of untruths. 
and they pressed him and they said, don't you have anything to say about all these things that people are saying about you and saying? And he said nothing. And it says that the people and the council were marveled, amazed at his silence, at his silence, his love for the people. He knowing he has a purpose, knowing his purpose, his trueness to the purpose. He didn't need to say anything. He didn't understand who he is and where he's at and what he is intended to do, what he's here for. He didn't have to say anything. For all of this is all part of the plan, the Most High's plan. And the Most High has a plan for all of our lives. Has a plan for every single life out here, man. Not one thing goes uncared for, not one thing goes unkept. The sun and the light shines equally upon all. We all are given 24 hours, it's what we do with it. And though the light, like you say, yeah, yeah, no, like, okay, Iceland or a way up Northern Pole might not get as much sunlight yet, but they have time. We have time, we have life. And in that time, we are given moments of thought, purpose, ideas of creativity, things that we can do, things that will inspire us, opportunities that make us feel valued, or even have opportunities where we can add our value to a thing. We have these moments in life is where do we capitalize on them do we have the energy to capitalize on them do we recognize the moments to capitalize on these things but it's going to be hard to recognize that even to recognize oneself in the midst of so much chaos in the midst of so much hardship in the midst of so much violence massive turmoil and lies being spread we don't know what is the truth versus what is the lie anymore it's hard to tell man so it's like really 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 a back and take a step away for a little while then you got to do that and you'll know when it's time to re-engage again and how to re-engage when it's time you don't have to feel like you got to rush back in the game like when the coach calls a timeout or the coach pulls you out I used to play hockey and uh, when I was younger man and one, and one thing I loved about hockey I love the aggressiveness of the game first off the contact and all of that type of stuff back and forth and back and forth oftentimes the scores are low because it's hard to get points on the board you know that's life sometimes it's hard to get points on the board man and get where you're trying to go or get achieve what you're trying to achieve man get your goal so it's like in the process of it you get banged up you get knocked down you get knocked around and stuff like that and in the process of it going back and forth back and forth you got to get pulled off the ice at times and a lot of times you're getting pulled off the ice in the middle of the action in the middle of happenings and while things are still happening things are happening you might have just got bang you might even just bang somebody and stuff like that and the coach is like all right come in switch out and you're switching in and out on the fly and they might even be in the process of about to score you want to be a part of that you know what i'm saying that momentum but you got to switch out you know so it's like you feel like you might have missed the opportunity to put points on the board but no man it's time to switch then you got to sit down for a second and then you're going to get right back in the game when it's time when it's time and you're going to get right back to doing what you got to do not everybody can be a center. Not everybody can be a defenseman. And everybody's not necessarily the um, the enforcer. Not everybody can be an enforcer either. You gotta have the strength to be an enforcer. You gotta be able to play your position. You know, the enforcer isn't necessarily gonna put up the most goals, but he's gonna protect the people, protect his teammates from any harm coming from the opposition. So it's like, and then oftentimes that causes him to sit down a lot. It causes him to sit down and take the penalty for others. So what does this mean? Sometimes you're gonna end up taking hits for others. Sometimes you're gonna end up having to hit for others. You know, just go up to bat for others that can't necessarily defend themselves if you have that strength in you. And if you're not that character, that's fine too because there's another role for you. And oftentimes that gentle role, that loving role, that careful role is the most important. Most important. There's a lot of strength and compassion, man. There's a lot of might and mercy it takes a strong person to be merciful. It takes a very strong person to be merciful and it takes a very understanding person not to get angry. One has to have supreme understanding, love, supreme love, a high level of love, man, not to get angry and not to take back vengeance on something that causes them frustration and anger, him or her. But either way it goes, peace, patience, positivity, prosperity, moving in an upward movement, upward movement, and what is this, not reacting, rather responding, controlling one's actions, 
and carrying oneself out with discipline, living one's life with discipline, applying one's heart to one's actions. Oftentimes our heart will tell us one thing, but then the ego or the pride might even take over and do another thing, or the anger might even take forefront. But that's one of the most important times it is when we have to pause and breathe look around us and we see so many people struggling, so many people upset, so many people going through so many battles mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, on every level. In these times and in these moments that we see these things happening, man, we're going to see more of it, which is going to cause more and call for more and more love, patience, peace. What is love? Compassion and mercy, man. Understanding. Understanding that we just don't know what the next person might be going through. Understanding that we don't know, man. Like, y'all, this other person, this other situation that this person is going through, we may have gone through something similar. We may have not even gone through it at all. But however, the hurt and the pain is very real. And the hurt and the pain is something that is universal, man. We've all been hurt. We all lost a loved one. And knowing the fact that we all lost somebody that we love dearly, man. And knowing that we all have someone that we love dearly. In this alone, the love, the value of the love should bring us together, should unify us, should cause us to cease any type of violence we may want to enact on another. Or any type of harm we may want to act on another, man. Knowing that someone loves them. Someone loves them. They have someone that they love. We gotta consider the love. The actions that we do and how they impact others. Offer something positive versus offer something negative. Negative can never be taken back. Mm, but the positive is always something that's rewarded, man. Like sometimes you have to take the hit. Like sometimes you just have to be wrong to learn what is right. Sometimes when you do wrong, you feel shame and you don't want to be like, oh man, I thought this way or oh man, I did this and that and the third. But in that vulnerable space of acknowledging One's error, one's wrong, one's sorrow, one's pain. In that area of awareness, in that area of awareness, man, there's a deep healing. And there's a deep opportunity for growth. There's a deep opportunity for connecting with oneself at a deeper level, which brings more of yourself to the surface for others to experience. The deeper you connect with yourself, the more present you can be for others, man. And the deeper you can connect with others. We have to be able to not be afraid to open our hearts and open our minds, not only to ourselves, but especially to other people, which is the most difficult, especially when it's somebody you don't know. No shame and no pride, all love, mercy and compassion and all truth. with others be dealt with like so merciful peaceful loving compassionate patience slow in understanding quick to listen and slow to speak let's take our time with ourselves let's take our time with each other let's take our time with our life and with life. We don't want to miss the moments. We don't want to miss the moments, man. There's always something positive, man. There's always a lovely moment. Look at this.
So yeah, nothing too major, man. I didn't want to go on just rambling, just talking, man. Just talking, man. Just wanted to get back talking life. It's a beautiful life we live, y'all. Very beautiful life we live. In a wonderful world we have, y'all. The world that we have left and the time that we have left, man, we should spend it in a loving way, man. In a peaceful way in a more unifying way. With all the violence happening, man, I know you see it all over the world, man. All over the world, man. People spinning and spiraling out. Hold firm. Have mercy, have compatience, take care of yourself. Be safe. Be wise in your movements. Wise with your words. Patience with your people. Stay positive. Just try to be a light and a positive force in other people's lives, man. As well as your own. Stimulate your own minds. Stimulate your own hearts and stimulate your own souls, man. Continue to meditate. Continue to pray. Continue to read and study your lessons. And continue to practice, man, the power of positive thinking. Positive affirmation positive thought and let it be in reality and not just in the imagination let it be in true practice and not just in the mind let it come from your heart and not just from a book make it real anchor it into your life the love the light the patience the peace the positive thinking the calmness of being, the power of the now, the value in the now, and continuing to tune and train our minds and hearts to recognize the values in the now moments. There's always something valuable in the moment. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's not necessarily something super extravagant all the time. A lot of time, the most beautiful, most deepest jewels right there in front of us, very plain, ever so plain. Like yesterday I was out along the lakeside, I'm studying my scriptures, man, and just going through it, looking at the lake, watching the waves and all the goodness and stuff, and I kept looking back, and I would see some other folks sitting around, and some older, some younger, some playing, and some just sitting there and chilling. And then there was one person that was there before I came, and they were there, and I was there for a long time, and they were still there just chilling. And I was just looking back and they were an older person too. And I get a lot of wisdom, man, just from watching older people, man. I get a lot of just strength from watching older folks, man. And that person was just sitting there relaxing, man. And it made me think, man, what else could you, what better could you do than just sit here and be? Like the most high y'all gave you time to sit here and be, to observe all of creation, observe all of creation. The universe is a creation. It's not the creator. It's a creation. And be able to take this in, observe this. Man, to have time to, with all these things happening, illnesses and violences and all these types of stuff, stresses, work, all these things, bills piling up, inflation going out of control, rates not keeping up with the inflation rate. It's like, and to have time to be, to observe the Creator's magnificent, marvelous works, and to even contemplate it, and in a peaceful mind to be able to thoughtfully contemplate it. I said, man, this is a truly a blessing. This is truly a jewel and a gift. The now moment to be able to observe and see and take this in while it's in where it's at right now. No moment is promised. Every day is a gift. That's why they call it the present, so they say, right? It's a beautiful thing, this life we live, y'all. Beautiful thing, this life we live. I'm so very thankful to be out here, man. So very thankful to be sharing it with you all. Thank you for giving me the encouragement to continue on building and add on, you know, and um, 
Let love rule, man. Let love reign supreme. Love builds and hate destroys. Lovers will love and haters gonna hate. Do what you do. Do what you do. I choose love. I love y'all. I wish you nothing but peace, love, positivity, mm, prosperity and abundance, goodness and good fortune be with you. Thank you again for tuning in. Love and light. I'll be back again soon. Much sooner than later, y'all. I think we're back. I think we're back. Um, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what you like to talk about. We're going to do some more live builds, I think. I think we're probably just going to have to start going more live. Have more interactions. But it's going to be some on-the-fly stuff. So, you know, schedules. It's not going to happen like that. It's just going to be, yo, live. <laughs> and if you got free, you got free. If you don't, then just, you know, it is what it is, man. Drop a line. Drop a comment. And I'll respond in time, you know. But, um. All is love, y'all. All is love, man. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's going on with you all. You know? Thank you again for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love. Powerful blessings. Love.